Alright guys, this is part number 11 of my hacking tutorials. This one's mainly about block editor, a tool um, for advanced map. Basically, here on the left you've got your tile set. I've got tile set 1 here and tile set 2. Or 0 and 1, I mean. And here on the right you've got the things from tile set 1. So basically, say <coughs> with this um, say with this house somewhere where the house? Here we are. This house, yeah, oh, this mailbox, yeah. So I wanted to see um, on my map here. The mailbox is uh, <coughs> surrounded by a green pine. Say if I wanted to put on sand, yeah. So the thing you'd have to do: change palette, yeah. Change your palette until you get kind of a yellowy one for me at least. So I just want to find the color palette that might have your color. Let's see, I've got the right one there. Here we are, we nearly got that there. Might take a while for you to find the palette, but um <coughs> here we are. So here's my tile. I've got a bit of sand here. So let's just put that all behind there. We click save. You see on here it's gone that. Let's do the back bit as well. Save. Like that. Okay. Now if we exit that and go on our map, nothing's happened, okay? That was because you need to go back on block editor. I don't know if that'll still be there. Yes, it's still there like that. And you go picture. And you will go right palette changes to ROM. Because this is uh mine, I'm not gonna do it at the moment, or I will go to right palette changes to ROM then. Oops, sorry. Um <coughs> picture, okay. So we just do that, yeah. Save. Okay, sorry. <coughs> and then we go down to here, see it's here. Sometimes you might have to change it sometimes do it automatically. But here you are. And then I want to get a bit of sand and surround that or whatever. <coughs> so basically that's it. It's not very hard to use. It can be used to make do more difficult things such as changing the um uh palette which I'll be make actually no, I can use the same vi um do this in the same video. Okay, so I'm just gonna Go back on block editor and edit those because I don't want them like that. I want them with a green background. Okay. Um, where are we? Here we are. Okay, so the next thing you can do is you can edit the palette with this. The palette is basically the colour of everything, yeah? Okay, so go back to block editor again. Just come and go palette, show palette editor. So yes, this is it. Okay, palette zero, this is all my greens and grasses, okay? So let's find the colour we want for this grass here. So the thing you can get you can do select colour and then move your mouse. Click select colour, move your mouse over any colour on your desk on your computer, and it'll give you kind of measurements for that. You might want to write this down somewhere. Um, then you just hover it over this green here. You can see it's 112 200 160. So 112 200 160. So get off that. I can see that that is this one here 112 200 160. So now, just want to move these up and down to change the color. So let's get let's get a um, bright green. Nice bright green there. That'll do. Okay, so click apply. Let's change there. You see, nothing's happened to the map. Okay, so let's select another color. Let's select the background of this darker one. It'll most likely be on one after it. 64, 176, 136. 64, so we are out. So <coughs> let's make it a bit darker than the one I've just done. Make it kind of like that. Apply. Okay. And click exit. See, it's happened down here. So the thing you could do is just go through all of this. But now the thing I'm going to do: go picture, oh, palette, right palette change to ROM, and then suddenly behind you, it's all changed. Okay, so exit this. 
see it's all changed they've got this lovely uh, colour here so now I can spot where I need to just do this so yeah that's basically how you do the palette loads of different things you could do the muck about with this um, yeah so that's kind of it not much to it really is there I see it's changed loads of different things as well so if I save that and go to another city it's changed quite a few there see the bits inside the trees haven't changed there's quite a lot of editing that I go into the whole editing the whole thing but as you can see it's already changed a lot quite like that so open that up again palette show palette editor <coughs> find the palette for the trees so the lightest one there is probably that one up there so let's make it <coughs> sorry make it a dark green yeah so apply and then just want to go on that one make it a bit darker apply make this one a bit darker again apply make this one even darker apply okay palettes right front to use the ROM there we are Obviously it hasn't turned out and I wanted it to. <laughs> it's a bit strange looking. Got one up there. Hmm. Completely white. And that's where you can also do snow as well on these trees. Select this first colour, change it completely white. Don't know if it's gonna work, I haven't actually tried it before. Apply. Exit, right back, change it to ROM. Okay, it looks it that's actually come out pretty good. It looks like snow, doesn't it? And then the thing you could do for this one is you can make it white. Just make it a bit greyer. To make grey all you need to do is have it all the same. Yeah, so it looks pretty cool. Palettes, right it's right energy to the wrong. That looks like a snow tree. <coughs> Everything's been uh, snow topped. See? So, yeah. It's looking pretty cool. Um, That's basically how you do uh, palette editing. So, yeah. Okay. Well, palette editor and block editor. So, okay. See you next time, guys. Bye.